It is time for the Irish to leave their so-called homeland. Yes, they've been there for millennia. But we need new blood, a new generation to take over. Let's not beat around the bush. The so-called Republic was no such thing. The Irish believed they won their freedom in 1916. No. <laughs> the Irish were sold out by their own countrymen. The so-called political parties in the Irish Parliament have been bought and paid for several times over. The institutions, the judiciary, the media, the idiots believe they are working in their best interest. How incredibly naive and stupid. Communism, fascism, who cares which is used to subjugate? It's a false dichotomy. One narrative plays off against the other. No, fascism has been chosen as the bad cop, so to speak, and socialism and communism have been chosen as the good cop. We wanted to get the two sides to fight against each other. Irritatingly, we could only find communists. Violent fascist thugs were not to be found in the Emerald Isle. No matter, the media will spin that narrative for us, while the useful sheep swallow the stories we feed them. It's just too easy. The useful idiots are all in place, and we no longer need to keep things under wraps. We thought as a nice gesture we'd let you know, so that you can make your escape while you still can. You're clearly not going to fight for your survival, are you? So it's time that the Irish people <coughs> off out of their so-called country. No, as Noel Ignatiev, the late Harvard professor, said, the white race must be destroyed.